see what a box of saltines looked like over 50 years ago? Come on, let's do it. So don't worry, there are no saltines in here, but I do have a box. Although it's a little worse for wear, this was something that I had actually, believe it or not, gotten at the recycling scent, but it had all sorts of news clippings in there instead of crackers. Somebody dumped it at the dump and this was a time I actually went dumpster diving and got all of these vintage magazines. That's a subject for another video. But this is what the box looks like. I just did a video about vintage advertising recently. Look at that cute little girl. And we'll try to flip it over with all the things inside. This is what it looked like. We have canned cheese, guys. And then this is what a box of saltines would look like today doesn't have as much interesting stuff. We do have a recipe on there. There is a copyright date from 1969 back here. So this is over 50 years old. It's older than me too. I'll give you that clue. We'll give you a closer view and look at the cracker boxes. This is of course the older one. We'll flip it over see all the news clippings inside of here and what's interesting is it's got a special closure on this easy lock carton just to slide your finger here so it opened up it appears from the top like this give you a look cracker with crunch this is what it looked like on the side flip it this side where you see the little girl got the special moisture proof package and then this is what it looks like in the bottom with the canned cheese we have different flavors pimento cheddar and American from Nabisco. And there's the copyright date right there. I've been looking for manufacturing information or ingredients lists and those are not found. There is a price. It's got a 37 in there. I don't know if that means that it was 37 cents or if this was something else. There's some kind of a number that is in here but there's nothing here in terms of pricing or anything or manufacturing wait whoa how did i miss that the first time here are the ingredients right there underneath the canned cheese my patty is telling me i should have looked there here they are. Hello, Ben. Ben is checking by to see it. And here you go. National Biscuit Company. That's what Nabisco was short for. And its general offices were in New York, made in the USA. We've got local bakeries coast to coast. Maybe they even made the canned cheese in those local places. And here's what a box looks like today. Let's see, it's in Spanish as well as in English. There are some recipes on here, written both in Spanish and English. We also got our QR code, which of course would not be on the 1969 packaging. And then the sides, both sides, have nutritional information, this one in Spanish, this one in English, and the company name Mondelez Global LLC in East Hanover, New Jersey, which is not too far from where we are. And here's a side-by-side -side view of what one looked like before and what one looks like today.
pretty cool. Take a look in the video description for the video that I just did about vintage products in the advertisements and what these products look like today.